My uh, research area, my broad research area is what's called control theory or control systems. In most of applied math, people study the dynamics of systems and models and so on, but we're going what I think is one step farther is you take a system that's maybe not behaving the way you like it to and adjusting the behavior. I'm studying control and dynamical systems mostly in terms of robotics, so I want to do motion planning. So the idea is to have vehicles be able to avoid obstacles and perform tasks in real time. I always loved research and accepting new challenge and continuing a graduate study seems to be the best option to learn more about and expand my knowledge. What my group works on is a very specific sub-area which I find particularly interesting because it combines really challenging mathematics with lots of interesting applications and that's uh, systems that are modeled by partial differential equations, for instance, heating type processes, structural vibration, acoustic noise, those all fit into this big kind of mathematical framework. There is always a new challenge, and challenge is the best way to learn more and expand your knowledge, and that's, that's why I'm, I like about being a PhD student. So applied math is nice, again, because it really strikes a nice balance between applying math, but also being rigorous about it. My students have done really well in finding positions after they graduate. Some of them have ended up as professors at universities, but about half of them go on into uh, research departments of, of companies that value that ability to use theoretical tools to cope with uh, challenging situations.